Now is the time to install SolarWinds Orion server, which is NPM or Network Performance Monitoring Server. So before we go any further, I want you actually to take a snapshot from this server. Let's say before publishing and we will take a snapshot because later on I'm going to use this snapshot and again we will revert to this snapshot for actually advanced installation which I'm going to install SQL Server and will tell you how we can install Orion Server in standard or advanced installation which will require external SQL Server that's great so I'm already logged into this server here with RDP or remote desktop protocol and here we have the host name monitoring serve this is the host name and the IP address based on our diagram is going to be 10 under that's great when you have downloaded SolarWinds NPM in installer from your customer portal you should right click and select run as administrator in this lesson, I'm using offline installer, which is included all the component that we need during the installation. If you don't have a customer portal, you can send the request by an email to SolarWinds support and ask to send you a SolarWinds NPM offline installer link. And you can download it from the resource file from this lesson and start to install NPM Orion server. So we'll wait to extract the installation. The installer will first verify the correct version of that name is installed. If not, it will install .NET for you. So we'll wait for .NET framework to be installed. And also the installer will install Microsoft Messaging Queue. And in most cases, it will need to reboot the server to finalize the .NET framework installation so we'll select yes to restart the server so when we log in back again as I said before it will try to install Microsoft messaging queue and the setup wizard will run automatically as you can see here so this is ideal for evaluation tests or small network do not use it in your production environment because it will affect your performance the second one which is advanced installation or a standard installation and it requires SQL server as you can see is ideal for your production environment and if you want to practice this course, Lightweight is the great option for you because it will install SQL Server Express locally. And the third one will give you the ability to install an additional polling engine or additional website or to protect an existing Orion server with HA or high availability. So we'll select the first one and we'll say next. As you can see, Network Performance Monitor is selected and you can select other application if it's needed, something like Network Configuration Manager. So we only need Network Performance Monitor, which is selected, and the version is going to be 2019.4. That's great, and next. As you can see, is check the hardware compatibility may take a while actually to check out your hardware resources so the wizard initializing the active diagnostic if you don't meet the requirement here you can see the report so as you can see we don't have any problem that means we meet all the requirements so you should read the license agreement here and select it and we'll say next and the wizard is going to install Orion server. So it may take less than five minutes to install Orion server. 
With offline in installation, as you can see, we have all the component in the simple file. And if you use online in installation, actually it will connect to the SolarWinds network and download all the component from SolarWinds website. It depends on you whether to select offline installer or online installer. So that's great. Here we are. We successfully installed Orion server. And as you can see, the wizard will continue to install IIS 8 components here. So we will wait for the components to be installed. So SolarWinds configuration wizard will automatically run to continue the installation and finalize the process of installation and also configuring the SQL server. That's great. So again, we'll wait for the process. So the configuration is finished as you can see here. We'll click finish. So we'll say okay. So the user is going to be admin and the first time you should type the password. In production environment, strongly recommended that you use complexity password. So we'll say save and login. That's great. And here we'll go to summary from my dashboard. As you can see, this is the fresh installation of Orion server. So in next lesson, I'm going to install SQL Server to actually install the standard edition. As I said before, this simple installation is ideal for test lab or a small network. And if you need to install it in your production environment, you should continue installation the standard edition with the external SQL Server.